Going paranormal, surely. I hate rich assholes, which is fucking ironic, since I'm expected to put my bloody life on the line for them. That's what they pay me for, this pricey hotel here. To be a bodyguard for the rich and famous fuckwits who come to Benoit to blow their money. I used to be a cop, a bloody good one. A vice detective in Sydney. You know how many female half-Aborigine detectives there were before me? None. <laughs> you think it was easy? Suffering the abuse of my so-called colleagues. Half of them hated me because I was a girl. And the other half didn't like the fact that my mum was a curry. So I came up the hard way. I busted my ass. It took me 12 years to make detective, and that still wasn't enough. It's an old boys club, you know? The whole justice system is a fucking joke. Teenage drug addicts get put away forever, and old white wankers who steal fucking millions get away scot-free. <laughs> One rich bugger I investigated was clearly molesting his 14-year-old daughter. But he had too much pull with the politicians, so I couldn't touch him. After the girl killed herself, I confronted him, but he just laughed at me. He pulled out a pistol and told me he could blow my bleeding head off and no one would care because I was nothing, a nobody, an abo bitch. So I fucking took his gun away and shot the bastard. It was self-defense, but I still got sacked. Twelve bloody years down the drain. Worst part is... I didn't even kill the son of a bitch. I just yelled at him. One day, I'm going to have to go back and finish the job. So I think. My father was a very great man, a chief inspector for the Hong Kong police. Yeah, here even we though go. he died when I was 10, I remember him very well. He was killed by an enforcer for the Wo Xing Wo Triad. And I told myself then that I would follow in his footsteps and honor his memory. He taught me martial arts, and I continued to practice after he was gone. After finishing at the top of my university class, I joined the Hong Kong police and was chosen as part of the first all-female anti-organized crime squad. I worked hard. I did my best. But the men in charge never intended to put us on the front lines. They didn't train us the way they promised they would. They didn't believe any of us women were up to the task. We were only for show. Oh, yeah. Instead, my superiors sent me here, to this resort, to this front desk, to be an informer, to spy <sighs> on wealthy Westerners. My father would not be proud of me. This work dishonors his memory. But I will do as they ask. For I am a patriot, but I know I am capable of much, much more. I just need the opportunity to prove myself. Well, you're getting it. Maybe there's something useful. Staircase. For safety reasons, all elevators are offline. 
I think we're going to need lots of stuff. This is Hotel Emergency Broadcast System. Please leave your apartment immediately. Follow signs to the nearest staircase. For safety reasons... Emergency broadcast system. Please leave your apartment immediately. Follow signs to the nearest staircase. For safety reasons, all elevators are offline. Please remain calm and follow the instructions of the first personnel. Things don't look good, do they? Yes, we do. <coughs>